Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Raisa Pascal. This time is valuable for any busy mom, and there never seems to be enough of it. Moms tend to put their own self-care at the bottom of the list below work, kids, home, and family. But if moms don't take time out for themselves, they could be doing more harm than good. With us today is Anna Rose Mangilio Simonera, an active mom with a family and business of her own, with five health and wellness tips for busy moms everywhere. And I know we have a lot of busy moms watching, so Anna Rose. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the show. Good morning, Marisa. Thank you so much for having me with you today. Of course. As we mentioned, you are a busy mom running your own business. What is your first tip for how moms can unwind? Yes, that I am and I can totally relate. Take a walk at your local park. Okay, say your affirmations. I am, I will, I am grateful for. Remind yourself who you are, where you are going in life, and kind of realign yourself with the universe around you and what you have going on around you. Because with all the hustle and bustle these days, it is so easy to get lost in the mix being a busy mom. That's right. And one of your tips, my favorite, is wine. Tell me about oh, that. Yes. Wine and binge watching your favorite show. Explain that, please. Absolutely. So it's actually one of my favorite things to do as well. Binge watch your favorite TV show. Take that time out, whether it's in the morning when the kids are in school. I know that summer is approaching. So perhaps in the evening after you get them to bed, it is so crucial to set some time aside for you. Pour yourself your favorite glass of red wine. Yes. Don't feel guilty. It is totally good for the blood flow. Mm -hmm. Cuddle up with your favorite blanket and just catch up on that show or that movie that everyone has been talking about. Can I just say you are a woman after my own heart? When you said red wine, like I have a glass of Cabernet like every day. So that one. Yes, I girl, I'm I'm guilty. But you know what? It's good for us. There's nothing wrong That's to right. just take that edge off from a busy day. Thank you. <laughs> yes. All right. This one's a little, a little harder for me to do, but work out. How much? How long? Tell me about number three. Okay. Work out. You will thank yourself when you are done. I know it seems like a task. Even if it's 30 minutes to one hour, whether you were taking a walk, put your kids in a stroller and take them for a walk. It is good for you and healthy for them. Um, attend your favorite class at the gym, whether it's yoga or Zumba or body pump, or even if you just have a cycling bike, a treadmill, anything works. It is so crucial to just set that time for yourself. Make that commitment to you and right. you will thank yourself later. Right. And I'm, I'm glad you touched on yoga because I know number four is to meditate. So how yes. do we meditate in this crazy world where there's always so much in our <laughs> minds? It's so hard to just shut off. It is so important to do that. It's something that I've recently started to do for myself, whether you do it in the morning when you wake up or in the or in the evening before you go to bed. You have to be in a calm and peaceful environment. I light a candle. I play some meditation music. I also have like that rock salt lamp and I kind of dim the lights in my bedroom. I like to do it in the evening. I take some deep breaths. Nice. You know, I do some prayer and I just, I just do some thinking. I do some stretching at the same time and it really helps me go to bed with a clear mind. So then when I hit that pillow, so then when my mind, when my head hits that pillow in the evening, you are I'm ready. just refreshed, refreshed and ready to go for that good night's sleep. All right. Real quick, number five, prepare the night before. Can you explain that one to us in a, a little bit? Yes. Preparing the night before is something that I love to do. When everybody, when everybody is sleeping and the house is quiet, take that time and sit down with your agenda book in front of you and just plan the night before what you have going on the very next day. Excellent it will help advice. you wake up with a clear head. Love that. Thank you, Anna Rose. Where can we go for more information? Real quick, please. Thank you for having me. AnnaRoseFitAndHealthy.com or on Instagram at AnnaRoseFitAndHealthy. Excellent. Thank you, Anna Rose. Thank you.